once again, Bikini Atoll becomes the scene of the most dramatic nuclear explosion of all. For days, the target center and observation posts buzz with activity as weather planes circle the entire blast area, waiting for the most ideal conditions that will prevent disastrous radioactive fallout, the most difficult problem that must be solved in the titanic blast. In preparation for the explosion, skiffs carrying radiation detection devices are lowered and anchored at strategic points in the blast area. For the collection of this data is one of the main objectives of the entire test and will determine in great measure chances of survival in the event of nuclear war. These and tens of thousands of other instruments covering hundreds of square miles will bring back the answer. Trace rockets will capture samples of radioactive clouds. Admiral B. Hall Hanlon, commander, makes a last minute inspection. And here are the men who will undertake the most hazardous mission in aviation history. They receive a final briefing from the B-52's commander, Major Dave Critchlow. They must drop the bomb from 55,000 feet to explode 15,000 feet over the target area where these instruments will measure heat and radiation. Wheels for the gigantic test are now in motion, and the seconds tick off. Far below the target island of Namu stands outlined with a cross of lights and its radar installation. Once again, weather planes make a last minute check. A brilliance of 500 suns lights hundreds of miles of the Pacific, and the force of a million tons of TNT is released. Fifteen seconds later, the light is still unbearable. Observers may well squint, for they may have witnessed a prelude to world destruction. <music> to the mile-high plateau of Hurricane Mesa in Utah for Air Force supersonic research, here a rocket sled tests pilot safety equipment by simulating the fantastic stresses of supersonic flight. The sled streaks down a two-and-a-half-mile track, gaining velocity steadily. At peak acceleration, the dummy is ejected to hurtle over a thousand-foot cliff, the most drastic trial of the safety gear that spells life or death for America's airmen. Brookfield Zoo in the spring. Come on, Junior, drink your milk. It makes babies big and strong. What a big baby you are, and what a handful. He couldn't do that to a full-grown rhinoceros, but you're a baby. But is right. Mr. Butinsky, the lion cubs call you, and you were afraid they'd think you snooty. What a pity. A butting romance turns into a spat. Oh, well. Easy cub, easy go. Grandpappy Porker has his nose up in the air, but he's not snooty, just snouty. Official greeter for the new children's zoo is this baby orangutan. He just loves children. Children love him too, but he's just wild about himself. Packed in like sardines is an apropos remark at this point. The point being Ray Lichtenberg's fishing resort in Seattle. Here assembled to fish through open boards in the dock are several thousand kids of all ages, erstwhile Isaac Waltons. That's a good line, but we'll yank it just the same before somebody gets hooked with it. Fish were hooked too by those who know the angles and how to untangle. Hurry up, sis. The first 400 fish caught win silver dollars, and that includes minnows, starfish, crabs, anything by hook or crook. Why, there's even a prize for the smallest. As the returns come in, there's one resounding vote for calling it a day. But the majority are wide awake to wide selections of seafood for supper, even starfish. I knew there was a catch to it, and they caught it. 
The heart of the cattle country in Oregon beats strong for the teenagers this day, the day of the 8th annual Eastern Oregon Junior Rodeo. Large title, large excitement, large kids getting large charge. They get a bang out of it, all right. But these country kids from small cattle towns know how to ride them rough. Where'd he go? Bareback broncs are rough on junior cowboys, and so the cowgirls will show them up in the calf riding, they say. Aw, oh, come on, sis. You're not hurt. Well, only your feelings are hurt. Let a man show him. Never mind who shows him, but somebody. Maybe she can. And maybe she can't. Mother said there'd be days like this. Rockin' and rollin' down that rock island line.